Already got the bike loaded, ready to uh, head out this morning. We got the pick me up this morning. These things are so good. Pulling up to the track, looks pretty busy today. It's pretty packed. Get everything situated. We got some fresh O'Neill gear hooking it up. I got a bunch of sets to uh, show you guys. We got about two pairs today to try out. We got the gray, gray, the black kit. So, show you this in a minute. We got Bailey rolling in. Look at that Spencer wearing the shirt, repping. We're gonna wear his uh, Lip Pro thing, compare lap times to Spencer, see how uh, how much faster he is than me, right? <laughs> so we'll see how this thing works after. I gotta do full laps though for it to work. Well, first uh, time out track was perfect. Honestly, the best it's been all year, I think. So bike's not even dirty, it was primed. We'll hook on the GoPro, get a couple laps, and then uh, see the lap time. We'll probably be really slow, but uh, we're gonna see what they are. Right, Dave? Yep. We'll follow Dave. <laughs> no way, I'll follow you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to run the GoPro on you and I'll kind of ride side by side. I wish I brought both the GoPros. Bailey's got the two stroke out today, doing a little Letting the forks split. Oh, you're gonna lose the thing. Oh yeah. It's a pain. One in the grass. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the screwdriver I'm using. Oh my god. That's funny, dude. Could have asked for a screwdriver. I got one in the toolbox if you need it. <laughs> it's oh man. Yeah, it'd be good if you actually knew if you had gas in it. Huh? I said yeah, it'd be good if you actually knew if you had gas. I'm topped off. I was just checking to make sure. Got about four or five tear-offs, I don't know. Thanks. We'll see how much faster you are. Well, from last night, I forgot to tighten my, uh, whatever nut right here on the triple clamp, so I couldn't, I didn't want to risk it. I saw it, like, moving. I could loosen it with my fingers. Pop on after these guys.
So the lap times are in. So apparently, a uh, decent AM rider, their uh, like a decent time is 2:40. So Spencer's time was a 2:46, and I had a 2:43 without hitting the finish that one lap. It only got one lap, I guess. So, I mean, three seconds off. So realistically, maybe shave off like a second or two if I hit the finish and then carried speed from there. I don't know. So, not too bad, I guess. All we wanted to know is if you're faster than Spencer. Yeah, all we wanted to know. So I've been testing out this new uh, O'Neill gear. I probably need to go down a size. These are 32 pant. Probably need a 30. Uh, I think they run a little bit big. The jerseys fit like perfect, normal size. So I really like the way they fit. They're super comfy around the braces. Grippers all right here to hold onto the bike. Actually. Are they getting stuck in the Umobius? No, they're not. Yeah, uh, Dave just mentioned my uh, other gear. It used to always get snagged in the Mobius braces when it, it would like, it would like pinch it in and then I couldn't bend my knee. So uh, these don't do that, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, super comfy. I'm really liking it. So if you want to check out O'Neill, they hooked it up with a whole bunch of gear. I'll show you guys probably later when I get back to the house. And I'll leave a link below, so their stuff's sick. trying Dave's uh, 19? Yep. 19 Yamaha and uh, supposedly I haven't tried it with the new pipe and uh, mapping. I guess he uh, bumped it up or something. Ugh. East start life. Oh yeah, it's got a tippy toe. so solid. The way it's set up, I like it better than my Kawi. Suspension wise. Power wise, I think I like the way that Kawi hits better, I think still. So me and Dave were talking, kind of comparing the Kawi to the Yamaha fully this time. We were saying if my suspension was set up, uh, not set up, but if it was, this is all stock suspension, he said. So just a couple clickers, set the sag, and it feels really good. I know Yamahas were known for having good stock suspension, but 
the uh, the Kawi has more low end hit. If you're not like if you're kind of lugging it and get on it, it pulls harder than this in the low end. And top end, it's got a little bit more than the Kawi, kind of that initial hit right out of like if you're like half throttle. Nonetheless, both solid bikes. Be curious to test out the 2020 Kawi to the 2020 Yamaha or 2019, whatever. So Kawasaki, if you're watching this, uh, I'm in the market for a new bike here soon. <laughs> Spencer's got his sister doing the bike work, huh? Pulls off the track, doesn't have to do anything, puts it on the stand for him. Popped off the tower, almost lost it. Didn't get it on video, of course, but super sketchy. You're stretching this thing to make that uphill double, or the, the step up. How you feeling on this thing? You're too big for it, dude. <laughs> you're too big. You gotta get more on the 85. Oh, you're, you're ripping, though. You're ripping. Uh, so just got home, got the bike unloaded. I'm gonna cap this video off here. But before that, if you guys have not gotten your entries in to win the CR125, every $5 spent equals one entry on my website, which is linked at the top of the description. I don't think I really need to show this thing. If you haven't seen it, it's immaculate. Everything literally is brand new on this thing. It's spotless. So if you wanna win this thing, like I said, the link's down below to my website where you can get stickers, shirts, key tags, those Dango Design gripper mounts if you've wanted one of those. And I'll have a few orange ones if you want an orange one. But yeah, get on that if you wanna win this thing. Hopefully this week, uh, me and Blades will get out and we'll test the CR versus the KX back here like you guys have been uh, pretty eager to see. Gotta get that throttle back on there, so go out to the uh, private track. I've been pushing this off because I didn't wanna bring it to open practice where you can't really, I just wanna get on the track when I want and not have to be like limited to the four or five laps or 15 minutes, so. And I want it to be just us so you just get like the two stroke sound of both bikes. So I've kind of been waiting for Blaze to come back home from racing and now we're gonna set up a day where we can go out and uh, get that video filmed and get the first real ride on this thing. So with that, if you guys are new and you wanna see more, make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, if you wanna see what's going down before the vlogs come out along with the build page for uh, all the future two-stroke builds, which is at Project Two Strokes. That's where I posted pretty much step-by-step -step everything on the CR as I was building it, as I will on all the future two-stroke builds that I'm gonna do on the channel. So if you wanna stay up-to-date all around, you can follow both those and you'll pretty much see everything.